Hey everybody, my name's Eric. Um, uh, making one of my first commentary videos on this channel, or even ever. Uh, this is one of my first ones. Um, I thought it'd be cool to do it to my birthday. This was one of my birthday rides. Um, th it's January. It was beautiful out. It was a great day to be out riding. Uh, it snowed previously, uh, uh, like two days or three days before uh, this day. Um, it was really nice out, and uh, we're kind of all warming up doing donuts. Just kind of screwing around in the snow. Yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, my video. Um, my buddy and I really worked hard on it. Uh, also, my buddy Zach and my buddy Mason are overriding too. So, you'll probably see them in other videos. They always come overriding. And right here, I tried a 360. I tried. <laughs> it was an attempt. But, yeah. Anyway, we're uh, going to our free, or yeah, sorry, our free, or our first creek crossing. I'm sorry, can't talk. But uh, yeah, that's right up here. We're about to go in. I love making fresh tracks in the snow. It's so much fun. I don't. Know, that's what I call them. I don't know. When all the snow's going up beside you, it looks so cool. I don't know. I just like that. So we're going across the creek now. Uh, going into our neighbor's yard. Uh, the way my house and everybody else's house is set up since we're in the woods all of our trails kind of connect and uh, we have three or four neighbors Like behind us, I guess you could say and they all ride so they they uh, we all kind of connect trails together and uh, it's sweet riding Right now we're going to the mud pit. That's what we call it uh, In the summertime when it rains a lot. It's really fun to go down there and just kind of play in the mud Sometimes we take the truck down there, sometimes we don't. Kind of do some donuts, you know. We want to have a bonfire down there and do like donuts. And I'll definitely make a video if we do that. Because that would be so sweet. See in the middle right there, all that brush? We want to set all that on fire and just like do donuts around it and get a few pictures. I think that would look cool. Um, here, I'll show you a clip of what it looks like in the summertime or in the fall after it uh, rains a lot. Should be coming up soon. Now there we go. Uh, yeah, it's real fun. This this video, uh, I'm gonna make actually a full video on it. It's uh, we're kind of just trying to see who can get each other the most, the most muddiest, or hit each other, who can hit each other the most times with the mud. It was really kind of funny, and uh, I'll definitely make a video about it and try to do a con. I can't say it, dude. Con Mary. I can't say it. I'm sorry. I just can't say the word. I tried. Well, whatever. Uh. I'm dumb. Uh, so we uh, went up to I went up to our na my neighbors real fast to see if they were gonna come down or not, and uh, they said they were busy. Like I said, and they come they come and ride with us a little later in the day. So uh, since they couldn't come out and ride, we we continued on and went down the creek a little bit more and uh, saw some ice. And we're like, you know what? I'm gonna ride on that. So since being the birthday boy. Uh, they sent me first, and I fell through, <laughs> and I was getting all soaked and wet, and you'll see, this is the first, first of many, many times of falling in today, I just kept falling in, I couldn't seem to get a break, and uh, then eventually every comrade caught back up with those guys, and they fell through, it was kind of funny actually, so I back up, and um, I tried again, there's not really much to do, or places to go because I couldn't really get up that hill because it was so slippery and the snow is too deep and my my wheels aren't really that great on snow anyway I wish I took pictures but at the end of this video like at the end of the day after we were done riding my bike had like an ice layer on it like it was like the plastic and then ice on it yeah but anyway that was like a side note. Uh, everybody else went around because they didn't want to play or be, they didn't want to be men and go in the middle. Whatever. It's all right. Uh, so we went up here and uh, now we're we're deciding what uh, where we're gonna go. So uh, I kind of do a donut on this ice up here. I just kind of like turn around real fast. Brap. Just kind of spin around real fast. I think maybe I don't know. Oh, there we go. That's fun. I don't know if you guys have ever played on ice before. It's scary because you don't know if you're going to fall in or not, but it's fun. Oh, and right here, 
my buddy Mason, I thought he was going to fall through because his bike's so heavy. And I was like, if you hear it, you'll probably hear it. And I was like freaking out because I didn't want him to fall through because it's really deep right there. I just, like, I know it's deep right there. And uh, it's like two or three feet. It's not that deep, but like it would be, we would be muscling trying to get that bike out. So I take my turn to go across real fast. And uh, now, this is, right here is where the real, real fun starts. It's crazy what's about to happen. So I'm like, I'm kind of telling everybody, like, oh, we can do it, it's going to be fun. And they're all going, no, no, no. And I was like, nah, it's going to be fun. So, you know, what, what, what bad could happen? You know, a fat kid on the ice with, a, like, a 300-pound bike. I'm not going to, oh, yeah, look, I fell through. <laughs> just case. So I get stuck right here, and I'm just like, ah, oh, jeez. So I look behind me, and I'm just like, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I back up. Or, no, not nah, power through. <laughs> I didn't see that. Forgot about that. So I get through, and I get stuck up here. And I'm just like, what am I going to do now? Now that I'm all soaking wet, flipping over to Zach's camera. He's just kind of looking at me going, ah, what are we going to do? <laughs> I don't know. So we're trying to come up with a quick plan to get me out so we can keep going. It's no fun being stuck all day. So Mason uh, is getting his toe strap out, and uh, we decided not to use the toe strap at the end of it. You'll see that in a second. So like I said, we're just trying to figure out what we're going to do. And uh, we kind of just decide that we're going to, Mason's going to go ahead and go through and we're not going to use the toe strap so we have more room to pull the bike out and uh, we're not going to use it. So right here, Mason almost hits me, which would have been really funny, but I'll make a leap, make an Olympic leap. You know, I could have been in the Olympics of how far I jumped right there. Boom, look at that jump. Holy crap, look at that jump I just made. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so Zach comes over and uh, we're trying to figure out what we're going to do. So we were like, I was like, you know what, we're going to pull it. We're going to pull it out. So I said, I need your help, man. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to pull this out on my own. So we're pulling this thing. It is so in there because it's like a foot of water right there and... It's all ice, and me and Zach are just pulling as hard as he can to try to get this bike out. We're slipping and sliding. Mason comes over and helps. It's getting crazy. So crazy. <laughs> he, pull, he pulls a Nerf bar. Oh, it's just, that's, this is so funny. It was such a cluster, but it was so funny. So I'm trying to pick up the front end. It's not working. Zach's trying to pull it out. <laughs> Oh, this is so funny. So we're pulling on roots, trying to pull this thing up, trying to get a grip. They're breaking. <laughs> Mason's slipping. Oh my gosh. So I tell Mason to pull up the front end and move it. Try to pull it out. Finally get the bike undone. Then we realized the GoPros were pointing down, and I was praying to God I, I got some video, but Zach got some video. Or, like, now he does. I fix his camera. But. So now, uh, that's the end of the first half of the day. It's lunchtime now. Uh, we went out around, like, 11, I guess. So now it's the uh, second part of the day, and uh, our neighbors met up with us, and now we're going over to the farm and uh, go play in those woods and run around in the fields. Looking both ways, being safe, way to go Zach. So right here, Gage gets stuck, which is uh, my one buddy. So he gets stuck, and I didn't notice, so I kept going. Mason's trying to catch up to me to tell me, and Zach's just along for the ride. So Mason pulls up, tells me, tells me what's going on. And I uh, sped it up, because this took forever, because I, we I thought he was going to get out, but then we turn around to go help. So I just sped it up, because it took a long time. And uh, this is Zach's camera now. He got I I wasn't filming at this point. It was real funny because when we were trying, you'll see, it's kind of boring this part. So 
uh, I tried to make it the best. Uh, I wish I would have got it on film. Mason uh, got the toe strap out, and then Mason gets stuck. But uh, Mason got his toe strap out, and it just snapped right when he tried to pull Gage out. And uh, it was just really funny. And so we're pushing and pulling Gage out. We're trying to pull him out, and he finally uh, fixes his four-wheel drive, and he gets out. Yeah, so this is the point where Mason's hooking up with a, hooking the uh, strap up to him, and it breaks like I was telling you. So yeah, guys, um, this is the uh, first half I had to. Hey guys, sorry I don't know what happened to the uh, audio, but I'm back and I fixed it. So heck yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, we got Gage out, like I said, and uh, he's all right. So now we're ripping on the same fields we were. Everybody's getting their last runs in for the day. Because uh, everybody's about to go home. It's around like 3 o'clock now. In the video. Or where the video's at. And uh, we switch, I switched cameras with uh, Zach. So he his camera's on right now. Because my camera wasn't working. So. Uh, we went up here and uh, Gage. He was under his quad. And uh, he said he hit something. But it turned out his quad was alright. And uh, so we all turned around up here. See? So uh, now we're just kind of waiting for Laura. I don't really know where she went. So we're just waiting for her to uh, come back. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so here she comes. She's racing up. I'm behind her, uh, Zach's behind me, and Mason's behind Zach, and, uh, Gage is then, Gage is behind Mason. So now we're all kind of racing back to my house, because we all decided we were going to go back. And, uh, this hill was so much fun, because you'd race down, and then all the snow would come up over you, and it just, I don't know, it looked cool. But now, uh, we switched back to my camera, because it started working again. And, now we're heading back to the house. Make sure you look both ways before you cross the street. You know, these roads are busy. These back roads, they're busy. Whew. Car per hour, maybe. Anyway, next slide into the driveway. Straight into the freaking lawn. Oh, yeah, we're tearing it up. Oh, yeah. Freaking snow. Freaking awesomeness. It's my birthday. It's great. What a great way to end the, the day. So now we're in this, like, huge drift line, I guess you could call it. Everybody's behind me. It would have been cool if everybody had a camera, but, yeah. So now I'm one-handing it. Oh yeah, look at that, stalled out, <laughs> didn't mean to stall out, but you know, I don't think I tried any 360s again, that was basically it, yep, there it is, I tried it, anyway, stalled out, so now we're ending the near the uh, end of the video, I mean, uh, we're all kind of coming in, get stuck one last time here. Oh yeah, rocking it. Get it right back out. Nice slide on the driveway. You know. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making this. If you have any uh, any ideas or anything I could do better or work on, please let me know and uh, leave it in the comments. Um, thank you and have a nice night.